Well, hello everybody and welcome back into the garden here. It is a beautiful Monday and uh, I want to answer a question that recently came up in a Facebook group I follow. I am part of the Manitoba Gardeners group because, you know, I garden in Westman, so yeah. And there was a question about um, Hascat berries and honey berries, so I thought I would address that considering my last video was also on uh, basically the importance and the awesomeness of Hascat berries. So yeah, let's just kind of get right into it. So these are both wonderful plants and they have a lot of similar characteristics. For example, you know, leaf shape are very similar. Fruit patterns are very similar. The fruits form on the end of last year's growth. They're the fruits first things that produce flowers in the spring. And then we've got this year's growth that kind of hides it, makes it a bit of a trick to find. However, there are a few differences and we'll start here at the Hascap berry. Nice purple berry on that. Hopefully you can see that in the shadow. But one of the big differences is the size of the berry. The Hascap berry bears a significantly plumper, huskier, thicker fruit. And uh, it's a little bit more tart, I find, than uh, your, your honey berry that we'll take a look at in a second. The Hascap berry bush itself is half the size of a honeyberry bush so for somebody who's got limited garden space or is considering putting um, something similar to a blueberry but zone three friendly into you know a, um, something like a bunker garden raised bed garden this is a good choice it is a little bit of a pain to harvest you know because it is a short bush and they are hidden under things but in a bunker style raised bed, you know, you get some elevation that way. It's a little bit easier to harvest. I do love both of these varieties because yeah, look at that. It's beginning of June, I've got fruit. The wife and I have been nibbling off of these for a couple of days. So that is fantastic. But the Hascap gonna be about four feet tall, four feet wide. Whereas the honeyberry bush back over here is gonna be about eight feet tall by eight feet wide. So that right there, when you're looking at your landscape, is a considerable difference. If you're looking to fill a lot of space, consider getting a honeyberry. If you're, uh, you know, like I said, dealing with a smaller space, consider getting a Hascat berry. Now we're looking at it again, we see similar leaves, similar fruit production at the end of last year's growth. And then when this one's kind of stretched forward into this year's, so that's kind of unusual. And we see a much more slender berry on there. Let me see if I can find one that's kind of changing color for us. So you can see that, you know, the mature difference. Now again, this is a bit more of a pain to harvest than a lot of things. But if we look at the production, this honeyberry see you can see consistency in the fruit size they're a much skinnier berry i almost want to call them more of a banana shape you know and this one isn't fully ripe came off nice and easy but they should be a bit more of a, a dark purple and again the honey berries when they are fully ripe are a little bit sweeter versus the slightly tart taste of the Hascat berries. So there you go. It's kind of hopefully been just a quick look at the honey berry and the Hascat berry, or pardon me, the Hascat berry and the honey berry in that order. And uh, explaining some of the subtle differences and why you might want to choose either one or the other for your gardenscape. That said, it is recommended to have at least two varietals. So yeah. Um, I got both. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it answered a few questions. And uh, thanks for watching.